Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday to us all. I am Lucha FM. Um, welcome back. And uh, where you left us off last is, I think we were just getting basically pre-season started. Um, we did well in the League Cup, and then we lost our first Premiership game, 2-0. So we've got Greenwich Morton in the League Cup second round, Dundee, and then Dundee United. So yeah, so I've, um, we didn't have a game for two weeks, so I've just forwarded it. Um, so we're just going to work our way through this. I hope everyone had a nice weekend though. Uh, I didn't get up so much. It was a nice relaxing weekend for a change. Um, not that I complain when I do get to go out because I don't get to go out often, but we've been really busy the last couple of weeks. One thing or the other, obviously, my, my friends or family or my girlfriend's friends or family. So it's nice for us just to chill out this weekend. Um, but yeah, got to see my team, Man United, get absolutely humiliated. I wish the, the game ended in the first half. I'd have been very happy with that result, but... I just knew I just knew that we weren't gonna um be able to handle it. Man City come into it in the second half and we just faltered. Uh Anana played well though, so fair play to him. Johnny Evans played well. I think we 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 came and stuck really. I think when Johnny Evans come off, but I could be wrong. Uh I think it was one one when Johnny Evans come off and then and I'm not having a go at the, the young lad Cabwala or whatever his name is, who come on. But we should never have took off. Johnny Evans, but Johnny Evans was probably knackered, bless him, he's 36 years old. So, um, but there was a few positives to come from that. We did well defensively in the first half. We nullified Man City. Man City were very lucky not to have Harlan score, though, in the first half. So, it is what it is. Um, I think Ten Hag has sealed his fate. I don't think he's going to be here after this season. I think they'll just keep him here for the season. We'll get wherever we get. Because I don't think getting rid of him now and getting a new manager in is going to make any difference. It's going to take too long for a new manager to settle in. So, yeah. So we'll just we'll see how it goes in the summer. It's going to be interesting, though. Um, nothing really interesting worth talking about in the inbox items. How long's Ireland out for a couple of days? That's fine. Right, we've got our game coming up now. Loads of scout reports, but don't really... I'm just going to leave the DOF to sign people if we need them, but I'm not really going to go for anyone unless somebody outstanding comes along. He's quite a good... Isn't he like... Uh... Isn't he from Middlesbrough? Oh, no. Oh, he was at Middlesbrough, yeah. So in real life, a lot of teams are after... I think a lot of teams are going after Hackney. So um, we've done well to get him on loan. That's signing for 4.1 million. Scott Tomley, McTomley's not happy. Uh, there we go. We'll shift this into the wage budget. Sorted. Let's make a few requests, see if we get anywhere. Probably won't though, because it's so early into the season. I can't imagine them just agreeing to that. But we will see. Let me know in the comments section what you end up doing on the weekend. Let me know if, you t if your football team won or, or not as well. I want to try and get some... You know, some discussion going. How's he doing? Uchi, Uchi, Uchi. Doing well. Queen's Park. Four goals in six games. Right, here we go. Hoyland's back in the team. So hopefully we'll win. We've got Dewurst in goal. Rui as right back. Welsh and Warner as centre-back partnership, Longella on the left, Aziz in the middle with Hackney making his debut, Carrozo on the right, Maldini in the middle, Dirigo on the left and Hoyland up front. Let's see how we get on. Let's start this episode in a, with a positive result, hopefully. Oh, there we go, Longello. Oh, that was terrible ball control by Hackney. He gets it back. Rui. Oh, 
thought it was going to be like a pinpoint pass. The whole, oh, by the way, Marcus Rashford scored one of the best goals of the season last night. So that's a, that's one positive to come out of it that we might have one of our players as the with the goal of the season. One of the few positives we can take from that game. Oh my God, Hackney, get it together! Come on, there you go. Come on. Yes, what a goal! All the little wing wizardry from Dorigo. Turned it around since... Uh, when did we sign him? Last season, didn't we? Yeah, last season he didn't exactly do well. He started today. Um, scored, so hopefully he's turned in the corner now. I feel like it should be standard... For us to have wing uh, South American wingers, I feel like it's a tradition at Red Rovers since I've took over. We've had a hell of a lot of South American wingers since I've been here. Some have been, most have been like uh, not very good. Some have been pretty good though. Yeah, one nil up so far. Krenik Morton haven't had a single shot yet. What a cross. Go on. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Warner. The right place at the right time there. Got a bit of a poacher about him, Warner. He does get a few goals like that. What's Warner's finishing like? First touch. Finishing's only six. Ballot. Head jumping reach. That's why he's pretty good. That wasn't a header goal, though. That was like a... Tap him, but most of his goals come from headers. Uh, he's a good little play, Warner. I wouldn't say he's probably good for any team outside the, the Scottish Premiership level, maybe, you know. But um I wouldn't I wouldn't sign him for a premiership team, I don't think he'd be good enough. Hoyland's been quiet in this game. He's got the ball now, though. What can he do? Loses it. Hoyland, you're coming off in a minute. You have been rubbish. Then again, you have got a 6.8 range. You haven't been that bad. Uh, Dorigo needs to come off. Who have we got on the left? There you go. Ross Stewart. Ooh, and a lovely little bit of passing going on here. Go on, Hackney. Oh, that was a foul referee. Oh, they've got a consolation goal. Well, I mean, it's only it's 2-1. I mean, there's nothing to say they can't come back and uh, get a point out of this now. Right, who's in playing badly? Maldini, where's Deli Ali? Where are you, Deli? Oh, he's not here. I'll put McTomley there then. Uh, Hackney, we've got Alan Campbell on. Okay. Right, let's see how this goes. Great header by Ross Stewart. That puts uh, Kabosh on Grenick Morton's chances of getting back in the game. Nice little win to start the episode. Right, Dundee next. Who we got in the next round? Livingston or Motherwell? Let's see if we can win the Premier Sports Cup again. I want to do better in the Scottish FA Cup this season because we, we got eliminated in the first, I think it was the first stages last season, so I don't want that. Because that's a good little earner for us if we do well in that. Uh, 
this. Right, you're not happy, so we'll get rid of you. Zero tolerance for moaners. Right, so we've got the club's training facilities have been improved. So we've got state-of-the-art training facilities now, great youth facilities, exceptional academy coaching, exceptional youth recruitment. And I've done that from earning the money um, from the competitions and stuff. So I've used it. Instead of buying expensive players, I've tried to improve the facilities. So that's how I'm doing it and make it a little bit more realistic and better in the long run. So I hope we can produce better young players like Gary Rui is a prime example. Um, and we're due to move into an 18,000 stadium in two seasons time. So that will help with our finances as well. Right, we've got a decent, wrong, clicked on the wrong thing there. Uh, mm, I would say decent. I'd say they can do a bit better than that. Let's try a million. Okay, they're happy with that. Cool. I'm happy with that. Who's signing him? Chelsea. Oh, I should have bloody asked for more if I knew it was Chelsea. Fair play to uh, Carrillo, though. If he goes on and goes plays for them. Uh, not that he will. I don't think he'll be there. He'll be their backup, basically. We've got Dewurst now. He's a much better. Have we got any other goalkeepers, though? We got. Oh, yeah, we've got Sol Bryan. We need to get a backup goalkeeper, though, just to be on the safe side when we sell him. Hopefully get a free transfer one, just to be your emergency backup. All right, we need to figure out what, who who are we replacing you with? Uh, maybe Anthony O'Neill. I think he's the only actual coach. We've got way too many fitness coaches here. Right, who's the worst fitness coach out of these? Yeah, you are going. One of our scouts just got snapped up by Burnley. Got 160 grand for him though, so that's good. Right, Dundee in the league. We need to win this game, I think. Uh, we lost our first league game, so it'd be nice to win one. Uh, yeah, fine. I'll accept them. Just get him out the door. Deli Alley back from injury. Uh, do I try and sign him? See if the board will sign him for me. Nope. Fine. Grilla's out for two weeks. So I don't know if that'll. I don't know if that'll ruin the cancel the transfer for Chelsea. Probably not because they'd already agreed contract terms. I think. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Gary Rui continues to progress, getting better and better. I don't like the fact that he's got a minimum fee of 13 million, but if we get 13 million, there we go. Castillo, not Carrillo. I've been calling him Carrillo for the last five minutes. Castillo, sorry. He'll be sorely missed. He was a good player for us. Can I get him back in on loan? That'd be cheeky, wouldn't it? Shall I see if I can get him on loan? Nah, he won't come. They don't want to. I'll add him to the short list, see how he gets on in his career. Gets a nice little earner from the deal as well. If he does well, we can get a decent... We've got 20% profit clause in there, so we can cash that in at some point. Uh, we do need a backup goalkeeper, though. So, let's have a look. Got a hell of a big scouting budget, by the way. Uh, I could probably swap that over into the transfer budget. There we go. Right. There you go. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, 
So look at this one. Actually, no. Let's look at recommended. Chris Brady. Yeah, of course. Yeah, recommend him. We need nine million. He'll do. Like I said, we don't need anybody to be like, there you go, emergency backup, perfect. Exactly what we want. Only costs us 5k. Love a bargain, me. Right, Dundee next, and then we got Dundee United after that. Let's have a look at him, Jen, James Penrose. Regular start, so why did we reject it? Was it because of the wage? He does need first team football. So what we'll do is we'll put zero, zero there. And we'll put squad player, see what comes up after that. There we go, had some better offers for him. Regular starter as well, so there you go, we just needed to get rid of the wage contribution. Obviously we always want to try and get the, loan, the club that's loaning him to pay some of the wages, but... Ultimately, it's more about the player's development. Uh, I really would like to sign him, but he'll go to Cardiff. He won't come to us. Yeah, I'm going to try and get him on loan. Right then. See how we get on now. So I think the same goalkeeper in defence, same mid oh Rios is a midfield hat this time. And then the same oh Redmond's on the left, so yeah. Only a couple of changes to this lineup from last game. Let's see how we get on. Hoyland could do with getting a goal for his confidence. He went on a run, I think it was something ridiculous last season. Oh there we go, Stephen Welsh have already scored. Uh, Hoyland, I think he went about 20 games or something ridiculous like that without scoring for us. It was getting ridiculous. I think he still ended up our top goal scorer for last season though. Despite the fact he didn't score in 20 games. I recently did a, an offline save with Man, uh, Manchester United and his brother Rasmus Hoyland just bangs him in. Got over 30 goals in the two seasons. I did the save with him. So yeah, he did really well. I also signed, um, with Man United, I also signed both the Hoyland brothers. So I had all three Hoyland brothers at Man United. Um, Emil and Oscar. I sent them out on loan. They did all right for the clubs that they went on loan with. And then Rasmus obviously played really well. I don't think I remember, other than the Wilcock brothers, I don't think I remember any other... I know, I think, I think I've already spoke about this the other day. I don't think I know any other uh, set of three brothers that have, that have been so relatively successful in football, as in... Um, played at a certain level, like the EFL or higher. Because obviously Chris Wilcox played for Man United and no, Jay, oh, one of the Wilcox played for him, but played for Newcastle and Arsenal. Um, and then Chris Wilcox, I think one of them went to Benfica but didn't work out. And I can't remember. I'll have a look in a minute. In fact, I'm going to look now because it's going to bug me. Oh, there's only Chris Wool. Huh? Have I spelt it wrong? Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look for another time. I can't remember. 
Am I thinking of... I'll have a look um, in in between episodes. I'll let you know next episode. Not that anybody cares over the movie, but yeah. It's just like, it's just my OCD. When something gets in my head, I have to figure it out and find out what's what it is. I swear it's Wilcock. I don't know why it wasn't showing any players. Or, oh, it might be. Well, I don't, I don't know, actually. Right, Redmond, knackered, you're coming off. Who are we putting on for you? We haven't really got anybody. We'll have to put on Deli Alley. Oh, VAR comes to our rescue. Right, we can't make any more substitutions. But hopefully we've got our first win in the league of the season. Just tick along now, a couple of minutes left. There we go. Good to see. Been a good episode this one so far. One play two, one two. Ah, uh, Warner's out for a bit. That's not good. Key player for us. I swear it's Wilcock. It's going to bug me now. Is that it? Wilcock, have I spelt it wrong? Is it Will? Cock. Two L's. No, it's not. Hmm. This is really puzzling. It might be something to do with the database I've got because I think I was playing the... Ah, do you know what it is? The reason why it's probably not coming up, even though it should, is... Oh, no, I have got the English leagues loads up. That is really confusing. Let me look at Newcastle squad, see if he's in there. I'm sorry, this is... I've just hijacked the episode trying to figure this out. He's not there. Bloody hell, Newcastle have got a... I mean, it is expected. I mean, I know Tananic was already there, but they got... They signed their lease. How's he done for... Done, done pretty well, isn't he? Andre, who I signed from Man United, Vicaro. How much did they pay him for? They only paid 31 million. That was a bargain signing for them. Christiansen, Diassi, Magno, Ming Mingazala, whatever his name is. Eto, Babiaco, Veermin, Beto. They've got a hell of a squad. Right, transfer history. Transfers out. Actually, let's do it. Oh, they did sign. I signed Andy Coop for uh, in one of my saves. So with Newcastle, he did really well. And then in my Newcastle save on Twitch, actually, he did really well. Right, so we weren't that season. Let's try season before. There you go. Will Wilcox, so why doesn't it come up? Oh, Willock. Oh, you stupid idiot. I bet everybody's laughing at me the whole time watching this episode. Willock. Why did I just get rid of that? I should have just clicked on it, shouldn't I? Joe Wilcock. Will, bleh, Willock. So obviously he went to Spurs on the game. Uh, but in real life he did well. And then, and then I don't know. Easiest way. I oh, know Chris Willock. There he is. So, yeah, so he was at Arsenal like with his brother Joe. Went to Benfica. Didn't work out. And then eventually went to QPR. Been quite quite good at QPR. Actually quite consistent. One of their best players by the looks of it. Um, I think, I'm thinking of doing a QPR save at some point. Because their squad's not the best. But they've got some okay, decent-ish young players so it might be like an interest like a youth only save i'm thinking because i my most enjoyable saves are ones where i don't sign anybody i just bring through the youth players yeah joe wilcock but there is another i swear there isn't there is another brother anyway maybe he's retired right let's get back on track everybody sorry about that right so we've got our emergency backup goalkeeper sign hubert graciak I think I did. I think I did that justice there. 
There we go. Thomas Escalante is happy. So is Joe Henry. So is Helen Campbell. Look at that. Loads of happy people. Shiny happy people dancing. Shiny happy people. You know the lyrics. Anyway. Right. Dundee United next. Let's have it. Let's be having it. Boulder's not happy. What a surprise. Fine, we'll back down. There you go. Right, Sign James Penrose. Probably good backup for Rui. Oh, he's left back. So probably good backup for Longello. In fact, if I click this, he's probably in the first team now. Yeah. He might end up being our first team left back now. Longello, a bit young still. But yeah, pretty decent. We're getting, a, we're getting a pretty good, consistently decent squad now. And we're bringing in more Scottish players as well, which is good. I want to try and get a healthy balance between Scottish players and foreign players, preferably South American or African players. And then bring in through some young players as well, like Rui. But they have to be good enough. I'm not going to just bring them through for the sake of it. They're not good enough. Stephen Welsh and Ross Stewart were selected in the Team of the Week. Ross Stewart's been a good signing so far, I have to admit. Hoyland's injured for a few days, so he won't be playing the next game. So Ross Stewart will probably get a chance up front. Uh, especially now that Oba Fami's injured as well. So uh, options up front are limited now. Worst comes to worst, we've always got Lewis Vaughan, or we can play Deli Alley there. Uh, no. Got a new scout, Vito Lecisi. He's good. Oh, bloody hell, he's a hell of a good scout, he is. Hell of a good scout, indeed. Right, Aziz will praise you. The foul's out the door. Right, we'll uh, there you go. Put that all back in the wage budget. I feel like there isn't really anything else we can improve on now. I feel like uh, there's not really much point asking the the board for anything because I think. We're maxed out on the staff. We're maxed out on the staff wages, so we can't improve that. We're maxed out on the facilities and the coaching. And we're already moving into a new stadium. So I need to I've got like OCD. I keep I keep looking at board requests and stuff like that all the time. I need to get out of the habit of that. Especially in this save, because I feel like we can't really do anything else. Maybe if we get a Champions League football, I might be able to convince them to give us more um, coaches and stuff. But for the rest of the season, I'm just going to leave that board requesting alone if I can, if I can remember. But like I said, it's like breathing for me. Right, Elias Chair. He's very versatile. He can play in a lot of positions. He's definitely worth getting in alone. So let me just check the deal because there's is it just a loan or is it going to be a loan to buy? Oh uh, no, we're not, we're not, we're not paying that. I'm not paying that for that, right? Actually, let me look at the Hackney deal. Oh, I've already, there's no point, right? I think we get him for four, four million Hackney. I don't mind spending four million, it's not too bad. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm taking the complete piss then. Right. Uh, Suter and Davison centred the defence, but the, the full-backs and goalkeeper the same. 
Hackney and Rios in midfield, Corozo, Dan Maldini, Redmond, and then Stewart up front. So see how we get on. Hem Rice ends up on the bench, so he doesn't take over from Longello. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh maybe one of them Lelujo alien moments again. The aliens the a he sent the aliens to come in and bathe me. Lovely little pass in there. Go on, Stuart, get in. Such a comfortable striker that strike there by him, but I think it's offside. Yeah, I don't think this is counting. Nah. No. Unlucky. But it was a good finish by Stuart. Showed great composure there. Very relaxed. Right, Gary Ruru is his bruised foot, so we've got to take him off. Not the best to start having to take off our best right back after 20 odd minutes. We're not exactly blessed in uh, right backs at the moment either. Maybe that's a position I need to strengthen. Probably have to look at the free transfer market for that though. Oh, it's a good header by him, by the way. Good goal by them. <laughs> we were doing well this, this episode as well. Two wins. I don't want to end the episode on a bad note. There we go. Let's get this equaliser before the first half ends. Come on, Welsh. Oh, he went for it. Fair play to him. He was confident. That it took the goalkeeper to save it. Maldini with the corner. Oh, good save by their goalie. Fair play. Still got possession, Carozo, Welsh, that's Carozo, get in, Maldini, we've got the equaliser just before the first half, that's good. Got a free kick, Maldini, Hackney, oh what a goal by Hackney, oh. it's offside though. Bloody VAR ruining the game. Oh, I stand corrected. We all love... Look at this. Bloody aliens about. We love VAR. Lelujo, stop sending me your aliens. I don't want them. And like that, similar to Man City, unfortunately, turning the game around against Man United on the weekend. We've done the same against Dundee United. 2-1. Good interception by Hackney. He's having a good game. Same as Maldini. Go on, Maldini. Uh, right, Redmond, you're knackered. You're coming off. We'll put Lewis Vaughan on. Hackney, you're tired. So we'll put on Alan Campbell. Uh, and that's it. We can't put anybody else on. Right then, we are, we've had a hat-trick of wins in this episode. So I think that's a good uh, way to end the episode. Uh, just praise Maldini before I finish. All right, how long's Rui out for? Oh, he's only out for a few days, that's fine. Right then, everyone, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you, as always, for following and subscribing. I'm trying to keep the episodes down to about 35 minutes max, so um, just to make it a little bit better for you lot to watch it. So yeah, if you want longer videos or shorter videos, please let me know in the comment section. Um, other than that, have a nice rest of your Monday and all the best. And I'll be back tomorrow. See you. Bye.